Hey folks, Jeremiah here, trapping today, and I wanted to take the opportunity to show you the Coyote Trapping School Short Liner Trapping Bag. This was made by Chris Pope. Uh, if you don't know him, he's got a real popular uh, Coyote Trapping YouTube channel called Coyote Trapping School, and really cool logo here. <laughs> so anyway, this is the only bag that I am aware of uh, of these dimensions, and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Chris sent me this uh, to uh, take a look and try it out, and I, I'm getting ready to uh, prepare and get stuff together for this fall's trapping season, and I'm excited to use this. So it is 20, looks like about 20, close to 28 inches long, and somewhere around a foot wide. So the cool thing about this is most of the other bags uh, in coyote trapping, you you don't have enough length to actually get your longer pieces of equipment that you're going to use. And so you end up having stuff hanging over the side, hanging off the edge of the bag. Or for me, I'll stick it in a five gallon pail and then it's hanging way up and it's tilting the pail and the pail's tipping over every time I set it down. So this is good because you get the room to put all your stuff in. The, the material is like a, it's like a plastic vinyl, heavy duty vinyl type. It's real thin, but it's, heavy duty. Chris actually made this all by hand and sewed everything in, which is pretty awesome, um, right down there in Georgia. So like he sewed these vinyl pockets in and he left these little holes for rain, for drainage and all that stuff. It's got, it's got a bunch of stuff like that. It's got holes in the bottom for drainage. Um, we got some pockets on the outside to hold stuff. You can hold your lure and bait here. You can hold some tools, uh, trap tags, Stuff that, you know, lure and bait maybe should go in a different spot, uh, but stuff that you maybe don't want inside of the bag that, where it's gonna get lost. Also, on the end of the bag, you have uh, a, a big, large pocket on one end and a big, large pocket on the other end. That's a place where I might put something like uh, maybe my pan covers. I'll uh, stick a bunch of those in there things like that, polyfill, whatever you're gonna use that's uh, a little bit bulkier, but you don't want mixed in with your other stuff. Then of course we've got the bag. Um, you've got plenty of room, put a few traps in. You probably, uh, you know, you don't wanna carry too many traps, you know, but you know, two, three traps, three, four traps if you're walking away from the truck. And then, like I said, the big advantage, we have our stake driver. So that fits perfectly in this bag. Uh, this is a dirt hole uh, tool, digging tool, that I got from Jim Geffert at Night Owl Lures. Uh, works pretty slick, and uh, a lot of people, I'm going to start using an auger with the drill, so the auger is going to fit just right in here, and then the old school trap line hammer mine weighs about 100 pounds. Um, got to get a new one of those and uh, slow down on the elbow tendonitis. Um, so yeah, you got, you got room for your traps, you got... Uh, room for your implements and, and your trowels and, and stuff like that that's really long. Uh, put a bunch of cable stakes in there. Uh, maybe put your, your S hooks and your J hooks and your whatever else you need to put uh, there. So just a few tools, pliers and whatever, wire. Um, it's a pretty good bag and it's, it's wicked lightweight. We got nothing in it, doesn't weigh a thing. Easy to clean. Nothing really to get scent or anything uh, soaked up in it. You just kind of wash it out. Nothing sticks to it. So uh, I think it's going to be pretty neat. It's got this wire frame on the top that just kind of folds down. You've got this these carrying handles. Um, they they look pretty rugged, but we're going to know by the end of the season whether they're really rugged because probably put a, quite a bit of weight on this and put it to the test and bang this around. I'm really super hard on equipment. So Chris, um, this is this is going to test your, your bag here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good looking bag. Um, I think it'll be pretty slick. He's got these two D rings and he actually will, actually there's two on each side. And he, if you want, he'll also make you a shoulder strap that you can go like from one side to the other like that. You can hold that over your shoulder to carry, if you're carrying long distance, uh, or if you have, you may have one from another pack or something, you just clip on to those. 
Also, this uh, side is left blank, so I think there's an opportunity to uh, to hook on some pouches. Maybe he he was thinking, Chris was thinking about making some pouches that'll hook onto there. Maybe uh, you have some urine in a pouch here. Maybe you have a few bottles of lure here. So you just kind of keep that on the outside, away from your other stuff. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, coyote trapping school, short liner bag. Looking forward to using it. You can find out more at uh, Coyote Trapping School YouTube channel or coyotetrappingschool.com. Uh, check it out from Chris Pope. Thanks.